It's absolutely magical. That is why, you know, when we sit in the concert, we definitely pray to God because you never know what's going to happen on the stage. Maybe everything is absolutely nice, but something happened that the program did not get to that you know, level or the energy, did, you didn't get that. But some other day, as soon as you touch your instrument, something happened and you are just into the trance. The music is wonderful, people love it, you enjoyed it, the heart is there, and you know, you, you went to the trance. So, you never know what's going to happen on the stage, it's very risky. It's, it's like, you know, kind of walking on the edge of the soul. I do believe that music is definitely one of the highest form of art. If you're a musician, it's quick. You can reach near God. If the nice melody comes, it takes you to a different level of humanity. In music, we have some norms, some rules that we follow. Like sa re ga ma ba ni. So if you do not follow this do re mi ba so la si, then you are being non-musical. You are making some noise, okay? But when after doing these kind of things, these norms, you attain a position when you are not thinking about these norms. You go beyond that. Then the real music starts. All the Indian gurus, all the philosophers in Hinduism always refer to music as one of the best ways to attain your enlightenment or to reach close to God.
Deus. 